Oxygen 6 Beta 4 has arrived. This release includes a ton of quality of life and usability improvements that make working with Oxygen faster than ever. It also introduces new performance optimizations for the builder, cleaner CSS output, and a number of other bug fixes and tweaks. This is Elijah from the Oxygen team. Let's take a look at what's new in Oxygen 6 Beta 4. In Oxygen 6 Beta 4, when you're editing the responsive styles of an element, you'll now see control values inherited from higher breakpoints. Let me show you how that works. We have some text here that's pretty large on our desktop layout. You can see it's set to 32 pixels. Now, if I swap to a smaller breakpoint, like tablet portrait or tablet landscape, I'm gonna see a placeholder that indicates the inherited value. If I hover over the control name, it tells me which breakpoint this value is inherited from. Let's set this to something like 24 pixels. And now if we step down one more time, we'll see that inherited value instead, since it's the one that impacts this breakpoint. And again, we can see which breakpoint this inherited value is coming from. This is especially useful when making responsive adjustments because you know which value you're starting from and it gives you a better idea of what you need to swap it to to make things look good. Here's another example this image with some negative bottom margin. We'll select it and then go to spacing. And now instead of having to guess how much bottom margin it had, we can see the exact value and we can make adjustments according to that value. So let's double click that and we can see it inherits from desktop and it's negative 382 pixels. So let's try negative 200 and that looks much better. Let's go to the section below it, which also has some spacing settings that are inherited. Let's double click to edit and it's inherited from desktop and it's a bit too much. So let's try 200 and that looks much better. So you can see being able to observe what the inherited values are makes it much faster to adjust values on breakpoints. In Oxygen 6 Beta 4, we've made styling elements much easier. For example, let's add a container and you'll note that with the new container selected, I've got styling controls even without adding a class first. That's because now I can go ahead and start adding styles and the class will be created for me. You can see up here, it's created the bespoke class for this container, container-4. We've also improved the way that duplicating selectors works. For example, if I'm happy with this class, but I wanna create an iteration on this class, I can click the dropdown and click duplicate. And now the previous class gets removed, the copy gets added, and I can go ahead and start typing to rename the new copy, container-4-mod. Dash 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 and now I can continue styling without altering the original class. In Oxygen 6 Beta 4, selectors and variables are now imported with design sets. From the Add panel, you can open the design library by clicking the book icon. And here I have a design set that I'd like to import. At the top, it tells me that this design set relies on variables and selectors. If I click Import Settings, I can choose whether I want to import variables, selectors, or both. I'll go ahead and confirm Overwrite and Import. Now that my variables and selectors are imported, I can safely drop these designs onto my page, and they'll look exactly like they do in the Design Set Preview. In Oxygen 6 Beta 4, writing CSS in Oxygen is more resilient than ever. In previous versions of Oxygen, if you had a syntax error like this in your CSS, you'd lose access to Oxygen's CSS variable autocomplete. But now you can see I still have access to the Oxygen variables via the autocomplete option when editing CSS. But we still want to get rid of that syntax error. This change means you'll still have access to the full range of Oxygen CSS autocomplete features, even if your CSS is incomplete because you're still writing it or temporarily contains an error. This next one is for all of our developers out there. Before in Oxygen, you cannot add an empty attribute to your elements. For example, if I went in here and I added something like data script target with no value, it would get stripped on the front end. But now Oxygen will retain empty attributes. If we go up to the front end here, we can refresh, right click and inspect this element to see data script target has been added to the markup. This change is useful for a variety of reasons, namely custom scripting purposes, 
and accessibility. For instance, adding an empty alt attribute to decorative images. Oxygen 6 has a ton of helpful keyboard shortcuts to speed up your workflow and help you build sites even faster. You can see the full list by pressing Command or Control and the question mark key. In Oxygen 6 Beta 4, we've added three new ones to speed things up even more. You can press Command or Control, Shift, G to open the selectors panel, making it easy to access your selectors, create new ones, or modify existing ones. You can also press Command or Control Shift V to open the Variables panel. And finally, my personal favorite, Command or Control Shift E to open the Structure panel. These three new shortcuts, combined with the already robust selection of keyboard shortcuts in Oxygen 6, are guaranteed to help you complete your builds even faster. In Oxygen 6 Beta 4, we've made the dynamic data workflow lightning fast. Let me show you how. I'm going to click this text element, and let's say I want to replace this with the current post title. I'll go over here to my text input and click the dynamic data button. This opens the dynamic data modal, but you'll note that the search input is automatically highlighted. So all I have to do is type title, and you can see that it's indicated that if I press enter, the post title will be selected and inserted. So let me press enter. And just like that, I've got my post title. Let me step that back and walk through it in full speed to show you exactly how fast this makes it. I'll select my text element, go to dynamic data, type title and press enter. Just like that, I've inserted the dynamic data without having to scroll through Oxygen's exhaustive list of dynamic data options. If you've ever run into permalink issues that cause Oxygen not to load, you're gonna love this change. In Oxygen 6 Beta 4, when you see this message, you'll now have the Auto Fix Permalinks button. When you click that, the page will reload and your permalinks will be fixed for you automatically without having to go all the way out to the WordPress admin panel and resave your permalinks. Another small but important improvement we've made in Oxygen 6 Beta 4 is in the Quick Navigator. Before, if you clicked the page you're currently editing, it would reload the entire preview. But now, Oxygen knows when you click the thing you're already editing and doesn't reload the preview. This will save you a ton of time when it comes to misclicks in the Quick Navigator. Oxygen 6 Beta 4 also includes a number of other bug fixes, tweaks, and improvements not mentioned in this video. To see all of the details for this release, check out the release post for the full change log.